Some people have seen it, some people haven't. It's out there, Jack Daniels single bow rye. Stay tuned. Hey, it's Matt Bourbon Banters 2020. Today is gonna to be Jack Daniels single bow rye. And you guys probably have already seen the single barrel select one, and you get my little two cents off that. But this is a Jack Daniel single barrel rye, and you're thinking, don't they just do whiskeys? Or Tennessee whiskeys? Yeah, they do bourbon whiskeys. Yes, they do. So, a little story on this. I got this a few years back. It was in a box hidden behind whiskey cabinet, and had to pull some stuff out of the back behind there because it was all full because I kept sneaking them in, hiding them, and that's where I'd hide them, but I'd still get caught. You know, the normal stuff. This was in a box, took it out, put it in. Somehow it got in the back and almost forgot about it. So, doing a review on it, should have done it earlier, but this thing kicks ass. So, let me run down the spreadsheet for you. I already poured me a little glass. It's a Jack Daniel single barrel rye. It's Jack Daniel Distillery. It's Brown Foreman owns it. Proof 94. No age sta statement. Ah, if I had to guess, probably between five and seven years. Mash bill 70% rye, 18 corn, 12 Martin barley. Malt Martin Malton barley. MSRP is about 45, 50 bucks. So yeah, that's probably what it. I think it was a gift, but yeah, I've seen it at uh, Bedmo, other places as well, for about that price. So uh, the price hasn't really changed. Uh, it, everything has changed because Biden's inflation proposal, doing what have you. So on the nose, a little cherry, oak, hint of banana. All right. First sip. All right, that first sip, got the banana, the, the trademark banana, a little bit of cherry with the caramel in there, some oak, and very little rye. I'm not getting a whole lot of rye on this. So this is one of those things where sometimes you got, if you got a few bottles in your whiskey cabinet, venture in the back, because a lot of times things get pushed back, forgotten, this and that. This is one of those ones that I'm, I've forgotten. This thing tastes great and I'm claiming this one isn't woke because I got this way before the wokeness even kicked in. So, you know, yeah, currently Jack Daniels went woke, but at least this bottle wasn't made during the woke time. So my other one, yeah, most likely, because that was relatively new, bought it, and yeah, it's, it's too bad. People got scared. All you gotta do is push back. Hit back, do whatever you do. Protect yourself, protect the property, protect the store, protect the distillery. I guarantee they won't come back around, but you know, just, just like a bully. You know, if you don't fight back, they're gonna keep coming at you. So I'm gonna do another sip here and I'll let you know. All right, second sip, get that banana and the cherry and that oak, but I'm getting a little bit less caramel a little bit more on the rye, and I'm gonna do another one, let you know for the finish here. All right, on that third one, it, it, it seems like each sip is changing, you know, so it's a little less banana, a little more cherry. Still, the oak is sticking around, a little bit of that caramel, but as it kind of sits back there, feels kind of dry, which is fine, that's good. But I'm getting a little more that rye and oak and a little bit of cinnamon on that finish. So the cinnamon's kind of hanging, lingering around. So changes every single sip. So it's good. It, it's, it's one of those good to great, great well, good that when you run out, go out and get another one. Enjoy the one that you have. That's, it falls in the good category. And like, I, I don't know if I've told you, 
that my ranking system is going to be great. Get a second bottle just to have. Tastes great, price is great. Good is it's good, you're going to keep drinking it. Good price, worth it, and when you run out, go get another one. Okay is, all right, I'm going to finish it so I can clear out my shelf for another bottle and I'll never buy another one. And God awful is just, you, you, I'll pour it out. I'll pour it down the drain because it's really not worth it. So, hey, if this review was helpful, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share it, spread the word. I need more followers. I got uh, 108. I got to break out. I got to do it. So hopefully uh, my advertisement on these episodes that come out gets more uh, subscribers. So, hey, I'm Matt. Spread the word. I'll talk to you later.